Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 397. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 397. Hey, this video here is a simple video about VLOOKUP. You know, I have a VLOOKUP um, or LOOKUP series of videos. And uh, someone pointed out that all the videos I have there don't show how to copy the VLOOKUP down a column. You need to know how to lock cell references. Now, for a lot of us, we know how, but sometimes people that are learning Excel for the first time do not know. Now, if you looked in my gradebook playlist, I have a bunch of videos that show you how to do this exact trick. But this video is going to be just VLOOKUP and how to copy it down a column. Now, here's what VLOOKUP does. Oh, here's our commission table. If you sell zero up to 100 bucks you get zero commission rate 100 up to 200 you get 1% commission rate now notice I put a uh, little label over here just to help when you're learning how VLOOKUP works these are the labels of how VLOOKUP is going to decide which number it's going to take and then which uh, commission it's going to get and which commission it's going to dump into the cell always it's going to be hundred It'll take 100 all the way up to the next number, but not including that next number. All of those numbers will get 1%. That's called an approximate match. So 0, greater than or equal to 0, but less than 100 gets 0. Greater than or equal to 100, but less than 200 gets 1%. All right, idea simple. VLOOKUP, we look at a number, put it into memory, the VLOOKUP's memory. The VLOOKUP will go over. It'll race down the first column of the VLOOKUP table when it finds a bigger value. Let's look at this one here, uh, 200. So it's racing down. It's got 200 in its memory. When it hits the first value that's bigger, it stops and jumps back to the next row. Then you tell it which column. This is column 1. This is column 2. So we'll say, hey, get the value from column 2, and then dump that right in the cell. So this cell should end up getting 2.5% equals VLOOKUP. Lookup value, that's the value to put in memory, comma, the table array, that is this whole value. And in the other videos I've done, the VLOOKUP, the lookup series, we didn't lock this because we weren't copying. But no problem, highlight just like before and hit the F4 key. Those dollar signs say, I'm sorry, when you copy this formula, these are not relative cell references. The whole formula will always look at just that table, whereas the lookup value is called a relative cell reference. So when you copy it down, it'll always look one cell to my left. All right. So table array, the screen tip is being pretty polite. When we type a comma, it says, hey, what column index number? Which, where, which column has the value we want to throw into the cell? Well, this is um, column 1, column 2, so we just type the number 2. If it was column 1, you'd put 1. If it's column 3, 4, 5, you put 3, 4, 5, comma. And the final argument is approximate match. Now, that's what we're doing with numbers. That's this idea of greater than or equal to the smaller value and less than the uh, value in the next row. That's approximate. Exact, that's when you look out up like words. We want true or approximate. Now, you don't need to put true or approximate. That's the default. Forget it. Don't type anything in. I'm going to backspace. But if you want false, looking up words, put a 0 instead of false. Now, I'm going to backspace because I don't need it. It's the default. It'll work without it. If you leave it out, Excel assumes you want approximate match. Close parenthesis. And that's how you do VLOOKUP for a whole column. The only difference from before was we locked those cell references. Now, I'm going to double click and send it down. And sure enough, the 200 gets the uh, uh, a zero, a point zero two five. Now notice 999, that's exactly one penny below. You're wishing you got 100, but forget it. You're still in this category right here because what? You're less than 100. You're less than the value in the next row. All right, you could format this too, of course. Um, Control-Shift-5 would be the um, keyboard shortcut for percent with no decimals showing. All right, we'll see you next trick.